global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Global Happenings Today. We have a trending news for you. And the topic reads, Fulani Hesman at it again unleashes terror on 29 communities in open state but before we go straight into the news and further analysis we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below beside it you see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel okay let's go straight into the news of the day the terror headsmen were said to have come at Egua a neighboring town from where they moved with their thousands of cattle ravaging farmlands within Ketu Yawa communities which share border with the Republic of Benin. Papable fear has since taken over the area comprising about 29 communities with residents deserting many of the communities for fear of falling victim to the marauding headers. Most of the villages include Atero, Moro, Ulugon, Agmon, Igbota, Ogumba Ayetoro, Okeodo, Okeodo, Ibore, Gokoto, Iselo, Iselo, Ijale, Ohumbe, Igbeme, Owo de Ketu, Igan Lade, Lashilo, Lashilo, Ojadon, Atiro, Moro, Olugon, Iyameta, Igboro, Igbo, Oro, Igboro, Egbeda, and Kose. Were a ghost of themselves, were a ghost of themselves as they were virtually deserted. On Monday, there were renewed fears after sporadic conscious by headsmen sent panic in the communities, leaving many villagers to flee their homes for fear of being killed by this gang of headers. Activities of headers have also affected education in many of the affected villages as many parents are no longer comfortable with releasing their children to attend school. According to them, we are no longer comfortable with allowing our children to walk to school since headsmen returned November last year. This is because some of their victims in recent past were pupils who were hacked while they were returning from school, said Madame Ibeni Olawale, an indigenous of Agmon. I cannot open my eyes and allow some strangers to kill my children. School children here walk alone the bush path to school and they could easily be ambushed and attacked by the heartless headsmen on the way. It has happened before a few years ago. Some people were gruesomely killed by head headers. Hence, I cannot expose my children to danger by allowing them to walk along the bush path to school, said another woman identified as Wurola. A source said that some people have not been coming some pupils have not been coming to school because their parents feared they might be attacked by the gang of headers according to the community leader adela omolade the headsman headsmen have flooded an agreement that broke out last year by the area police command at Eyetoro where they were warned not to graze their cattle and farmland belonging to the villagers they usually come here from november to april when they arrived last year, there was a meeting convened by the area command of police at Hayetoro where the headsmen were warned not to graze their cattle in farmlands around border communities in order to avoid clashing with indigenous. Well, on Monday, we had periodic gunshots which created panic in the communities and the villages and have been then the villages have been deserted only government can save us from the hands of marauding headsmen the state government should put in place adequate security measures to tackle these violent headers in the interest of peace the police have been accused of taking sides in the headsman saga residents explained that in instances where the terror headsmen were either intercepted or nabbed the police usually shoot them at the expense of the locals who are the victims hmm. these headsmen have become emboldened because they usually get support or protection from the police for example there was a time one of the hunters who was hired to protect a property belonging to an ex-senior military personnel seized a rifle from some of the headsmen and handed over the gun to the police when police Com commissioner Ahmed Ilayusu was in charge of the state police command on their return a few months ago these headsmen went straight to the house of the hunter who has since left the community they instead 
connived with the police and arrested one of the leaders of the hunters and detained him and subsequently charged him to court. They would take their cattle to our river and pollute the water. While our people suffer the consequences of pollution through outbreak of deadly diseases, which have led to the death of a number of residents, yet the police would not apprehend them, while government officials would waste no time in arresting or sanctioning owners of stray animals in the communities. Well, on January 29, sometime last month, hundreds of farmers from Ojaadon and 28 other villages trooped out to protest the incident attacks by suspected headsmen who had accused who they accused of destroying their farms, killing their members and raping their daughters and women. The agri farmers took their protest march to the palace of their monarch, the Iselo of Ise Iselo Land, Oba Akinto Akintunde Akinyemi over the killing of Pa Ilo and his son, Abidemi, whose hand was chopped off by headsmen who invaded their farm. The spokesman of the protesters, who is also Jagon Oba of Iseolo Land, Chief Festus Olabo de Aina, said the headsmen were intruders from the Republic of Niger and Chad. Aina said the farmers had lost farm, farm crops worth millions of naira to the over 8,000 heads of cattle that destroyed the farms across several villages in the area. He said, having been chased out of the Republic of Bene, they surged into their villages and practically took over the local farms and forests. According to him, the streams that supplies water for drinking and domestic purposes have been muddled and polluted and soiled with the feces of their cattle, which go their which go their which go there for water daily. He lamented that their women, daughters, and and sisters also suffered dehumanization, abuse, and humiliation in the hands of the headsmen. Some cattle inside the some some cattle inside the stream in the community while some headers were standing by to watch over the animals as they modeled the water during the week. The, the monarch lamented that the headers returned to the communities in their large numbers after being a Republic soldier reportedly resisted them and chased them away from their country. Hmm well, that's a whole lot have been said here. Okay, so let's um, hear the feelers um Let's hear what Nigerians are saying online. This is this is really pathetic, honestly. One person said here um, that we're trying to go through the correspondence of what Nigerians are saying concerning this newest one that is coming in. It has been on since January, but now it's still ongoing till now. Amotakun, one person said here, said, Amotakun, are you still sleeping already? And that person said, the best solution is for the natives to arm themselves against these marauding forces. How long will they run for their lives? How long will they run for them from them? These headsmen always stage a surprise attack. If it's a full fledged confrontation, they can't stand. The authorities will say they are on top of it and the killing still continues. Unabated, the people must rise up and stop this evil agenda. A stitch in time saves nine, he said. Another one says, What rubbish! Nobody has any monopoly of violence. Yes, they have sophisticated weapons. But but can be taken on. The government will never help you as much as you have to help yourself. Defend yourself and also search, search their hosts in, in the communities and take a, pursue them away from your communities. Hmm. Ogun people don't allow these stupid animalistic devilish headsmen to continue their stupid attitude. Rise up against them with charms and weapons to chase them out of your land. That's another respondent talking. Another one says, Dr. Egun Jobi and Dr. Wotona, please do something very fast. I guess these are indigenous or something. I guess the one of these respondents is calling on some some set of persons who probably are resident there or from there. Okay, this is another respondent. We'll take one or two and then um, we'll go into further analysis. Can you see how someone said no need for a motekun right now? If that person is not senseless and like killing, maybe he is one that even supported them. Maybe it's, I don't know what this one is trying to say here. One person says here, if they were chased out of Bene, why allow them in Nigeria? Good question, really. That was actually where I was trying to come from. Why allow these foreign foreigners to terrorize Nigerians? Is it because Buhari is president? Good question, demanding answers. 
one person here says no need to cry out or informing the police or government it's time we yorubas must prepare to war it's time we rise up and face them so many reactions honestly so 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 many reactions i can't take all of them everyone seems to be saying the same thing i don't know how we got to this level but honestly fulani headsmen should be tagged a terrorist group period and treat them as such everywhere they go they do a lot of mayhem 29 communities keep killing their children now as she speaks some of those children in this uh, community these villages border communities don't go to school no more that's what we're talking about very soon that particular communities i'm talking about the 29 communities that shares border with benny and the rest will now begin to see another generation of illiterates coming out when the world is going digital some part of communities in nigeria is going backwards simply because of terrorist group called fulani headsmen even though they've not been proscribed but the world sees them as such well i do not know why the communities are still insisting on calling the well, i get they're just trying to fulfill our righteousness but honestly if benin republic have successfully chased them out of their country benin is not even as big as nigeria for crying out loud and yet the soldiers stood their ground and chased them out of their borders, out of their country and out of their borders. But here in Nigeria, we accepted them. In fact, we didn't just accept them. We didn't just accept them. We gave them visa free. Come. When you come, we we'll allow you in. And they are now in, causing mayhem. And no one is talking. You can hear one of, one of the um, victims there saying that sometimes, I didn't say I was not there, but say sometimes they have some sort of protection even from the security agencies right there in their communities. I would say take, your life is in your hands really. If you have called the police and they are uh, not really on top of the game, even though they say they're on top of the game, I think you should arm yourselves. Yes, life is only one, doesn't have to, this life doesn't have to du duplicate. So make, make be wise in the use of your life. What do I mean? Since you were in dangerous times, you're living in dangerous a area and you have terrorists coming in, even though they've never been proscribed, but... Wherever they go, you see signs and symptoms of terrorism wherever they move on. So what do you say? I would have expected that the Mona called the youths in the land and begin to ask, what do we do from here? We keep hearing their fillers. The other time, something similar like this happened in Delta State. The Mona cry, had to cry out, you know, uh, Delta State. Same thing happened uh, where um, uh, the Fulani headsmen demanded that, um, in, uh, somewhere in number, Anambra State, 20 Fulani headsmen demanded that one, 108 of their cows got missing and they demanded that the leaders, the community leaders, pay 38 million, you know, Anambra State should pay 38 million for their missing cows and all that. And they didn't just stop there, they had to arrest, you know, four of their prominent leaders. You know, and they're still in detention as we speak. They've not yet, as at the time of filing this report, this report, they have not yet been released. And this is what we're talking about. They seem to have some sort of um, um, federal mind, you know, protection. I, I can't lay my hands on it, but somehow uh, we, can't, we can't, I can't lay my hands on it, but they've not really been caught and dealt with. So the best way, I think that's one of the reasons why we need Amate, one of the reasons why we need um, regional policing. Not just regional police, and I think this is one of the reasons why we need uh, um, regional community police. Not I'm not referring to the one that have federal mandate. I want the one I'm talking to uh, talking about the ones that the state government have total control over. So things like this, you don't need to call the police. The, the locals that take the bulls by the horns, you don't need to begin to arrest them and begin to report to the police. You go by the laws of your land and you deal decisively with them, decisively with them. If the likes of Benin Republic can successfully chase South Fulani has been out of their, 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 their country, out of their borders, Nigeria is too big, you know, for them not to be able to do the same. I wouldn't say running away from your hometown, running away from your land, <laughs> running away from your ancestral land. To me, it's a, it's a show of the fact that you, you are willing to let go of your land. And if you let go of your land, they will occupy the land. Yes, very soon, Ogo State may likely, these 29 communities may likely become their ancestral land if the monarch does not call his youth to order and let them defend themselves in every way possible. Yes, because every other country seems to be doing one or thing or the other to chase them away. Nigerians seem to be accepting 
these guys and they're causing mayhem everywhere they go to i expect the monarch to be on top of his job because he's the, the number one man in his community who ought to protect his community if he, they kill all your people monarch sir you have no one to govern you have no one to rule it's just a matter of time you also will go by the way so i would advise whatever it takes for you to protect your land when you do that you will get the federal attention i, I bet you by the time you do the needful push the flanny husband as far as you can whatever needs to be done you do it honestly you will get the attention of the federal government i, I can I, I can assure you but if you keep begging Many communities have been begging. They've not been able to still get attention to the federal government. But I, I bet you do the needful. You, you will see the federal government coming to your community as quick as possible. Protect your people. Don't let them run. For how long will you run away from your ancestral land? For how long will you stop your children from going to school? For how long will you stop your people from betterment of a, you know, pursuing for pursuance of a better life? For how long will you keep planting and keep losing your plants to? Headers, you know, flanny headsmen. For how long will your people keep suffering diseases and all forms of mayhem? Will you keep running all the days of your life? Maybe it's for this cause that you have youth and need to arise and defend your territory, defend your land. It's not unfortunate that um, our federal government in this and this particular ground has not risen up to the occasion, probably because they have their hands full. But then, will you still will you keep your mouth shut and fold your arms and have your neck chopped off of your head simply because you are waiting for the federal government to react for you when your hands are still not tied? Do the needful. But that's my take on this. What's yours? Let's go to our comment section. Let's hear what you think about the fact that Fulani headsmen are causing very serious mayhem. Everywhere they step in, Anambra is not excluded. Uh, Delta State has been among them. Uh, now, the, the, the uh, Ogu State, not just Ogu, but 29 communities in Ogu State, that's a huge number, is now in their uh, list of uh, trying to conquer the lands. Uh, what do you think? Let's go to a conversation. Let's interact. Do have a nice